Hey everybody, so I want to center this video around this, which is uh, by IBM Granite Dockling 258M demo, which is essentially their uh, demo of, they open sourced this model called Granite Doc Dockling, which like it converts docs into uh, markdown language, like uh, as you see here, uh, if you've seen few of my videos like uh i've already like uh this is very similar like i mean like just straight up to to what i've been uh working on like a lot recently i've showcased a lot i, I can do like the, the exact same things right like uh literally uh here and here where we're like it's just uh document extraction the things that like i've been struggling with are, are the pdf extraction right which uh they nail down one million percent uh within this and then like it's like I think that's a good place to start within this, right? Because so like uh, the reason why PDF extraction is so challenging compared to like DocX or any other format is because of like strictly because of the proprietariness of it, right? Like PDF as a format is like extremely proprietary. And then within that, like it, it, because of that, it's hard to uh, train around, hard to parse, et cetera. Like it's like... Uh, I built all of these demos and they all handle DocX and DocX is super easy, right? And uh, like compared to like, if you go through these things and you try to build them out for, for PDF, it's super hard to do just because of that. Like your limitation is, is Adobe's built on limitations. Like that's flat out what it is, right? Uh, and then, so this model is super cool and this release is super cool because it, it uh, they get around that, right? Like, it's, like these are, these are all PDFs. Uh, and, and then there's no problem. You can just convert it. You can ask it questions, uh, ask a new question, et cetera, right? Uh, so I think like the next place that I want to go within this is so for like a few, like for three plus years now, right? I've taken on the argument that data is absolutely worthless within this equation, right? And like I, like up front, it was like a, like a lot of people just didn't understand the stance at all. And then now more and more, like, I think it, it, it's starting to become like actually what I envisioned within this, uh, within and with regards towards those things, right? And then like, uh, I mean, so to me, like I've stated it multiple times, right? Like, uh, so ChatGPT releases, uh, I like I go through, like I get laid off, like right around that time, and then I notice that like there's, the job market is bad, and then I like I'm now or never time in order to like, uh, am I going to actually like uh, make a big push into AI and, and do these things, right? And then so that was kind of the uh a big impetus within that and then within that i like flat out like um looked at it and examined it like from the amazon standpoint right which is that okay what are the aspects that ai does differently and better and than the internet and like what's the key point to like kind of like dive in and, and, and stick your your moat and your claim right and then within that i see everyone's just everyone makes a mad dash for the data aspect right and then like uh, so it turned me off up front because people are making a mad dash for it but then i i dive as i dive deeper and deeper into it like i realized like it's a um the moat around data is like it, it's a false mode right and i like i start chipping away and i realize that like very quickly and then it's so from then it's just been essentially more and more formalization of these things right and then so now and then now what you're starting to see is like these tools coming out in the real world that are exactly what i envisioned within this right which is very simplistic like so at this point like the big challenge and, and a lot of the the challenges is is that like people don't have organizations overall don't have organized and structured data right they they have it in pdfs and docs etc and then that's like at like three years ago that was a full-time job in, in in and of itself right and massive moat in and of itself and then now you can see that that moat is today and it is absolutely destroyed no longer exists right uh anyone like that uh makes those arguments they, they just aren't keeping up with the current technology that exists around this right because it's i mean at this point you can just you take pdfs docs etc whatever you want convert it to whatever you want little even talk to it you can do uh whatever you want within that as far as uh, getting this data structured right and then there's just like uh so uh IBM's big uh, like uh, thing around this number one GitHub training repository of the day is 
Dockling, right? Which is like uh, this, like the reason why I don't like supporting this IBM like, and all of this is because like they're, they're still keeping this part, like they're converting it into this, right? Into this proprietary Dockling, which is what I don't like overall about this. Uh, and then so like, you know, like uh, I, I just like, I don't, I don't think it's the, the like, it's still trying to insert, they're still trying to be IBM with them, <laughs> just calling that out <clears throat> exactly how it is, right? <clears throat> and within that, I don't think that they would be open sourcing and releasing these things, uh, especially like as quickly as they are, if it weren't for people open sourcing and, and like uh, diving into and releasing these things, right? I think that's like uh, the important aspect to understand within this. And then like, I want to dive deep into like this, what we're looking at within all of this, right? And then, like, so, like, why all of a sudden is this coming out, like, you know, rapid fire? Like, like, why wasn't this, like, two years ago or 10 years ago or 20 years ago? Uh, like, the bottom line within, like, all of this, what what all of this relies on, what, what this relies on, what the Granite one relies on, what the Dockling, what this Entropy Harvester, all of it is <clears throat> taking distance measurements of the data set, right? Uh, <clears throat> that's all it is. And then just different measurement calculations and different distance measurements. And then so like you can convert that distance into entropy. You can convert it into compressibility. You can convert it into harvestable energy, et cetera. Right. But at the end, and then you can convert it into, so it will actually like uh, make, and you can describe the images, et cetera. But all of these, like what, like, even if you're doing this task, right, this describe this image task, and then what we're looking at and what we just looked at here, the model in, in the back end is still making distance calculations, right? Uh, and then so uh, the understanding within that, and then there's more and more algorithms out that are available and able to make those distance calculations. And then those algorithms are available and out because as they've been coming out and as they're released, people open source them, right? And they open source experiments with them uh, and then things around them. And then so it essentially means like once you have enough of that, there's no way to, to monopolize it overall is kind of how that works, right? And then so then you're left with like a situation where IBM has to open source uh, just to remain competitive, right? If they don't open source and they're they're like getting stood up by some dude making videos on, to fifteen thousand people on a in a one bedroom apartment, like that's you know, like, uh, and then it's uh, IBM can't have that, right? So <laughs> that's not a good look overall for them uh, as to how all of that works. But I, at the end of the day, and like diving deep into it, again, it's all just distance calculation algorithms that are, are performing this. And then, so there's nothing inherent to uh, protect within that as long as it's, as long as you're, there's enough ecosystem of that math being open sourced and released, right? And then to me, at the end of the day, it's always all just math, right? Uh, and then, so the second, like there's two aspects of this that make all of this new. Uh, and then, so one is that those distance calculations and then more and more algorithms coming out for those distance calculations. And then the second aspect is say, the same thing I've been harping on now for kind of like a, like a little bit of a period of time now, right? Which is the, the, uh, this difference between different geometries and, and how that affects distance calculations. And then what do I mean very specifically within that is that distance calculations aren't always a straight line. And then so when you think of it in geometric terms, that's typically how you would envision it in your head, right? That uh, from point A to point B is a straight line. Shortest distance between two points is a straight line, right? But uh, that doesn't like, uh, you don't necessarily want to or need to, or and the models don't measure always via straight lines. And then they don't always care about shortest distance, right? And then so, uh, and then within hyperbolic space, very specifically, uh, it's you have curved lines, <laughs> and that's, that's just the, the, the way the, and and the nature of the geometry, right? And then so uh, those curved lines and, and understanding that there's going to be curved lines within that, and being able to measure and account for that's the, 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 that curvature, uh, and then how that curvature and those curvatures of those geometries actually impact aren't things that people have looked into until very recently uh, overall. And then once you do that, you have a bunch of mathematical breakthroughs uh, around all of this, right? And then like, I, to me, the um, 
probably the, the third thing to mention within that, and, and I just want to mention it and highlight it within that uh, and on this topic overall is, is that like um, ever since its uh, existence overall, there's like math is it's always debated on a philosophical level if math is a uh, like actual like natural construct or, or like a man-made construct overall, right? Um, and then uh, within the, the, the debate is within that because when it comes to math, like you math to me is like when it comes to like building out an algorithm and things like that you have a lot of like uh, flexibility and freedom right you can make stuff up uh, like bottom line right and you can like uh, apply and um, utilize like different like so, like a common example that I, I think of in, in my head right I've made multiple models now at this point that rely on the like, chemical reactions and, and chemical flows and things like that right uh, and then it's like all of that at the end of the day is, is fiat, right? It's all made up. Like I'm just taking a, like, like a biological, these biological and these chemical processes that exist and then their actual chemical formulae. And then, but I'm breaking them into like a, a mathematical equation, right? Like it's, it's just like, um, it, it's not real. <laughs> and, 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 and so, uh, but it, like it, it uh, converts and works within that and then within that framework overall and then so to me within math you can do anything within that and then so what how and how that applies to this overall is is that once you understand and you get that concept that it's all just distance calculations uh when you're looking at these things and then how these things work then it like uh, you can just make up more math, right? Math that doesn't exist, and is, like as long as it works, and then you plug it and it, you, you do it right, it will work, right? Um, and that's kind of just uh, everyone has access to those tools and, and ability to do those things, right? It's just once it, it's discovered, uh, and then like uh, yeah, that's kind of how I look at this kind of big picture uh, of it overall. And then, so to me, like the, it's important to me, like to, to uh, keep with the track of uh, like on top of like when research papers come out instantaneously around these things and like, a, like you know, like uh, I've been focusing on very specifically around these, this for the last like a uh, month or two, because like within the last month or two, there's been like some like very key algorithms, like, uh, around all of this, right? This like this like this uh, algorithm that we're looking at here, like the CHR algorithm, right? Uh, this algorithm didn't exist before a month ago, um, and then uh, if this algorithm weren't uh, more widely available, etc., then it would it would it would be uh, a lot different game, right? Same thing with like so like uh, like the K constellations algorithm, right? Like which is just like a, an algorithm that that I created based off of this. Um, but it's uh, like a, like a modification of K nearest neighbors. But all of that, like all of the, uh, if none of this were were available, like openly, like say, like uh, this were housed by IBM, and then they like never released any of this, and they they had found and discovered this, and then never released any sort of research papers, uh, open source any of it, uh, et cetera, and then instead you're getting. Uh, Dockling as a as like the, the brand new product <laughs> from IBM, right? Which was like uh, that's the, the goal and, and and the dream for them in the end of this. But like uh, to me overall, like I think and I'm getting proven out more and more right within this, right? That they made the very wrong bet on that moat from the beginning within um, data very specifically uh, because of all, all of these things <laughs> that were were. Uh, discovering and finding within this, right? It's essentially like, like. Uh, so uh, I've talked a little bit earlier about that concept of uh, you can just make up math right? and then be able to do that. And then so essentially uh, that same type of concept is built into the models. That's actually how they learn. That's actually how they learn from the data sets. Like they're not actually learning from the data set itself. They're making up the math, right? Uh, and then so once you just understand and, and are able to engineer uh, that making up of that math as it relates to the model very specifically, you can just relate that to anything uh, as long as you can train the model very narrowly on that. And that's uh, exactly where we're at now. And then so you're starting to see uh, all of the like moats around data just completely fall apart. And you're going to start you're going to see like 
more and more um, around this and around these types of things, right? Because it's it's all again just like I can't explain it simplistically enough that it's all distance calculations. And it's all distance calculations, just utilizing pr primarily hyperbolic geometry. Uh, and then uh, if you understand those concepts, then you understand and you can understand like 99% of this on a base level. Uh, but so I'll leave a link to this, uh, their demo here. And then from the demo here, you can access their GitHub page and uh, a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, and then so granted, Docklane overall is pretty cool. Um, I'm happy that it exists. Uh, and then if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.